Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to import external data into Excel. This guide will be focusing on Mac since the workflow for Windows is a little different. I've prepared the following scenario. So we currently own Apple stock and we are tired of logging into our broker and typing in the password and everything. That takes too much time and we would rather have to have all the information in Excel. How do we do that? First of all, we look for a web page that is offering um, information on the current stock price. So for example, um, Yahoo Finance. So we go on that and I apologize, the page will be on uh, will be in German, but you get the hang of it. Then we will look for Apple stock. There we go. And there we have it. There's the current stock price and even the daily change. Now all we have to do is save the link. So just copy the link and open a blank Word document. So don't change or alter anything, just uh, the usual standard blank page. You paste the link into it and sometimes um, Word doesn't recognize something as a link. What you have to do then is just print the enter key twice and you can see that it is recognized as a link by the blue, blue, um, blue color of the characters. All you have to do then is save the file, save as, and we don't want to save the file as um, a Word document or anything. We want to save it as plaintext.txt. You can uh, name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it Apple Stock Price. Um, and you can, change, uh, you can save it wherever you want. So I, for example, have a folder for Excel data. But before you actually save the file, make sure that you delete the txt and instead write iqy. This is the data type that Excel is required in order to read the, the documents. And um, so you have to, so have to just um, write iqy instead of txt. Then save it. And this um, window pops up. Um, make sure that you check macOS. CR only and left to right, but I think this is this um, the standard format, so the standard settings will be all right for you. Then click OK, and next you go um, into Excel, into the sheet that you want to copy the information in. Um, you insert a new a new sheet, and go to the control panel in the uppermost row. Go to Data, get external data, and run Save Query. Then you can see this is a, a different query folder, but this is not what I want. I want to have the price on uh, Apple stock, which is saved here. Um, just press the document and uh, type uh, press get data. Then Excel is going to ask you where to insert the information. And in this case, I want to insert the information here in A1. That is fine for me. We have to wait a few seconds until Excel is getting all the data from the web page that can take a few seconds. You can see that Excel is retrieving data from, from the web page. Just refreshing the data. And there you go. And again, sorry, it is in German, but um, this is the price of the previous trading day. This is the opening price of the current day. And this is the bid and ask price. So in order to insert or get the information into um, the right cell that we, that we desire, we get this information. So we obviously want the current price and that is um, for us for example, the current bid price. But as we can see now, um, Excel is not able to calculate with that. And the reason for that is that um, we have a letter in here. And that is because sometimes some pages are offering information on other stuff as well. So in this case, this is, uh, I, I believe, this is the amount of stocks that we can buy for the given price of 318.6 US dollars 
and we don't need that, but there's a neat fix in Excel that we can use, a neat formula that is called left. And what this formula allows us to do is um, specify how many digits of a cell we are only on, uh, actually going to use. And in this case, we are ca uh, counting from the left. We can also type in right, and then it's uh, counting from the right. But we want to calculate, uh, yeah, we want to calculate from the left. And we want to use, um, if I'm not mistaken, seven digits. So just uh, type in semicolon and seven for seven digits and press enter. And there we go. There we have the price. It uh, now actually, uh, Excel is uh, able to calculate with that. So in general, if we want to update that information on the regular basis now, all we have to do is go into the data tab in Excel. So the lower da data tab, not this one, but this one and type or just press refresh all. What you can see now is uh, that Excel is retrieving again the data from the web page and that also takes a few seconds. So we are going to wait for that. It is preparing the worksheet as you can see. And we have a little update bar here. So now Excel is done, but uh, because today is Sunday and the markets are actually closed, we will not be able to see any change. But if you do it, of course, um, during the working days of the week, you can um, update the current stock price at any desired time. So just to recall everything, I've prepared uh, the seven steps. So first, you open the internet browser and copy link um, to a web page. You want to import it. Then you open a new word file and copy the link in the uppermost row. Make sure it is recognized as a link. I showed you how. Third, um, save the word file as a TXT file, but remove the TXT at the end and instead write IQI for Excel. Furthermore, furthermore open Excel um, and go to the spreadsheet and go to data in the uppermost control panel in order to import the data. Under that data tab, go to get external data and further run saved query go to the folder queries or wherever you um or wherever you saved your um your file and click on the desired file and get data and then on the regular basis just uh, press refresh all in order to update the information so i hope this information helped you and if it did please consider liking or subscribing the video uh, more tutorials and videos about Excel and other stuff will be coming. Thank you very much.